Item Number SCP-428 Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures SCP-428 is to be contained in a 5 m x 5 m x 5 m cell. The containment walls are to be electrified, with 30,000 volts. Entrance to the cell is via a corridor airlock, and access to SCP-428 is restricted to Level 3 researchers and below, while escorted by two armed guards. Personnel are to keep 2 meters minimum away from SCP-428 at all times. When not under research, two armed guards are to be on duty at all times. Due to SCP-428's effects, all D-Class personnel are to be screened for low IQs and skills that are deemed non-threatening to Foundation security or potential escape attempts. See Addendum 428A. A single D-Class personnel due for termination is to be offered once per month to keep SCP-428 satisfied. However, this will result in the need for an increase in containment space or for a solution to keep SCP-428 neutralized in the future. SCP-428 is, in appearance, a crowd of huddled human beings. As of December 20, it consists of 14 people. While huddled in a circle, SCP-428 is to be considered in a dormant state. In this state, the crowd moves with a gentle sway and can be heard audibly mumbling. Upon further inspection, the biological internals organs, bones, muscles, and fluids, leaving only the skin, have been removed from each individual and replaced with an unidentified material that attaches to a central amorphous mass in the middle of the crowd via lengths of flesh similar to umbilical cords. The crowd will not move away from this mass unless a person comes within two meters of the central mass. At this point, the crowd will move into its hostile state. The people of SCP-428 closest to the person will attempt to grab and pull them in the middle of the crowd. After contact is made for more than 10 seconds, the person will become a new member of SCP-428. Their internal structures will be removed and replaced with the same material as the other members. Should the potential victim escape, SCP-428 will actively seek them, or another potential victim, out. It will attempt to absorb any and all human life within its immediate vicinity. When all human life has been absorbed and they have become members of the crowd, it will return to its dormant state. If SCP-428 does not absorb a human being after a maximum of one month, it will again actively seek them out. It will do this using a variety of different methods. This includes using acquired skills previously known by people it has absorbed. It will also use psychological tactics to lure people into its grasping distance. See Addendum 428A. Wounds inflicted upon SCP-428's crowd heal at an accelerated rate and do not hinder movement. SCP-428 has been proven to be highly resilient. For instance, a bullet to the leg of a member of the crowd will become lodged but will not affect the individual's movement. And beyond the substance seeping through, the hole will close up within a few days. However, wounds inflicted upon SCP-428 central mass will cause a great deal of pain to the crowd. This will cause the crowd to collapse in apparent agony, and SCP-428 will retreat from the cause of the injury, using the crowd to protect itself. This has since been used to herd SCP-428 back into containment. Should a connection between SCP-428 and a member of the crowd be severed, it will excrete the substance within it through all of its natural orifices. A sample is currently being studied, and the remains have been incinerated. SCP-428 has a hive mind. It therefore does not have the hindrance of movement that would be expected of a sizable crowd. It is able to move a large distance in a relatively short amount of time. It is only limited by the slowest member of the crowd at running speed. SCP-428 appears to maintain some of the memories, skills, and talents of the people it absorbs, and is willing to use these skills to gain further members. 
Addendum 428A On Before the current containment procedures, SCP-428 managed to pick the lock of its cell using a hairpin and belt buckle from members of the crowd. It then positioned a female of the group slumped in front of the door, sobbing loudly. Researcher, who was unaware of SCP-428's properties, approached the woman and was abruptly grabbed by the rest of the group. SCP-428 proceeded to move through the facility using Researcher as a frontman, resulting in casualties before the containment breach was alerted, and SCP-428 was recontained. Researcher's Comments People, these casualties are gone. They are SCP-428 now. No matter what it might say or do, they are not your work colleagues nor your friends anymore. Remember this, it may save your life.